Got myself some TV boards here. But the flybacks are for my friend because he's the one who found the TVs. So the other flyback is upstairs. But I get all the goodies on the board. Okay. Here's all the capacitors I got so far from it. That's a lot. Anyway, here's the driver itself. I did buy some breadboards on eBay. They'll be here sometime in December, around mid-December, I'd say. And uh, I can't wait till those breadboards come. Okay, so for the frequency, I have a 1K resistor. And for duty cycles, since I got tired of the uh, high-pitched noises, I paralleled a 2.2K resistor with a 1K resistor. And whatever that comes out to be, it's a lot higher frequency. And a nice silent arcs. The timing capacitor is 10 nanofarads. Okay, so here's my IRFP250 on a heat sink. And there's my power supply, 12 volts, 18 volts, and 24 volts, because you needed 12 volts for the 555 timer. Okay, but the goodies here are the flyback, which is a very old flyback. It works great, though. Um, works really good. It uh, does get warm when I'm pulling big arcs from it. Earlier today... It arced over from a few pins and burnt some plastic. So I hot glued the freaking crap out of it. Only keeping the pin I need. And uh, then it was good. Then it arced to the core. So I glued around the core some. And uh, it's been fine for now. Okay. When you look on a TV board, you'll find something like this. Like that. Okay, well, the positive end, which normally goes just straight to the flyback, I'm going through one end on here to another end. This limits current draw, but yet the arcs are just as big as I've noticed. Okay, here's the capacitors. These go in parallel with the primary of the flyback. At first, I had just this black one. I got some pretty huge arcs which is rated 0.22 microfarads at 250 volts but uh... its values on it must have changed because it was getting freaking hot as hell and now the sides on it are all bulging out and stuff and I can see some cracks in there so its value must have got lower so I paralleled another one and the arcs are just how they used to be which is just how I like them Anyway, I don't know what this does here, but something to do with inductance, I imagine. Almost like the inductor on a ZVS driver, which I gotta get working. And, uh, yeah, the arcs are pretty decent with 12 volts. But, even though these make the arcs huge, my MOSFET stays just warm to the touch. How do I do that? Well, I don't know how I do it. It just works that way. Um, it gets hotter with 12 volts and no capacitors than it does with 24 volts with the capacitors. Just to give you an idea. So this is like a resonant flyback driver, but resonant ones normally use around 0.68 microfarads. As where this is only about 0.22, but whatever, it works. So now, time for me to show you the arcs. Okay, this is going to be with 12 volts at first. So let's plug in the first transformer. Let me flip the screen around on my camera. Hello. It's nothing real big with 12 volts, but the arcs are still pretty hot though. Nothing real major. Okay, you want to see some big arcs? Here we go. Let's plug in the second. Oh no. 
Also, something I notice is my MOSFET stays cooler when I'm arcing than it does when I'm not arcing. I find that very interesting. What do you say? Ready for 24 volts? I was just on 18, so let's start at 24 now. The arcs are a lot thicker. These are definitely comparable to a ZVS, and since I'm only inputting 24 volts, I find that pretty amazing. Here's one of the capacitors that overheated on me, so that's what happened to the other black one, which I still have in there. That's 12 volts. Ready for 18? Okay, ready for 24 volts. Just got a hell of a lot brighter. Okay. Uh, burning the insulation on my wire. Okay, it's time for 18. I think my core is saturating a little bit because my arcs keep on dying out. Okay, it's time for 24 volts now. Nah, still 18. Just wanted to make sure. 24 volts now. Oh my. There goes my capacitors. Okay, let's turn this down to 12, see if my MOSFET's getting hot now. Some of my capacitors were making a red glow on the electrodes. Eighteen volts cell. Well, 
either one or both of my capacitors is completely dead now. My MOSFET is actually still holding up, but this is with 24 volts. My marks aren't nearly as big as they were. They're about half as big as they were with 24 before. 